The Birmingham Library has been an invaluable resource. Because I'm legally blind, um, it's difficult for me to find resources in the yellow pages and using 411 runs my phone bill yes. up ridiculously high mm. and you're not always guaranteed to find mm. what you're looking for but I my life kind of fell apart for for a time mm. and basically the resources through the library helped me pick myself up out the dust and put mm. my life back together again even better than it was mm. and helped me get on the road to success and a more sustainable lifestyle. Talk about some of the ways that the library was able to help you. Oh my goodness. Um, they were able to help me um, access the paperwork I needed to form on 501c3 mm -hmm. that now exists thanks awesome. to the library. After I came out of the shelter, I wanted to put together a program that connected people with the resources mm -hmm. um, who were down and out and needed them. And so I in doing that, I also needed to go back to school. Um, they helped me get contact numbers for Miles College, mm -hmm. which I was accepted into. Mm -hmm. And then, I, but I had to be deferred until the summer, mm -hmm. until my records could come from California, mm -hmm. and started me on my academic um, journey right now. And you're at Lawson. Um, they helped you get into Lawson. Yes, we get information on Lawson. Yes, and I'm Phi Beta Kappa, oh, so. Kappa Beta Delta, and Phi Beta Lambda. I'm an Honors College cohort, and I'm also proud to say I'm a Lawson State Ambassador. Awesome. And awesome. Um, Lawson State, um, along with the, the library, continues to be a beacon of light for me. Um, <laughs> even one day I was having trouble with a history um, question, I called the library, <laughs> and I was like, hey, Robert. <laughs> yeah, and um, I mean, it... Um, it's just, it's just a blessing because no matter what you're looking for, even if you're not really sure what it is, you, you it could definitely explain how to get it. They will patient enough to stay on the phone with you and help you just uh, brainstorm and problem solve until you get what you need. And, um, what, what advice do you have to other people who may need help about how the library can help them? Use the library. It, don't be intimidated. Mm -hmm. um, to don't be afraid to ask questions mm -hmm. because um, they're very friendly and very willing to help you find what you need. Learn to find out what's going on at your local library mm -hmm. because I discovered that the library uh, gave a workshop on grant writing mm -hmm. as well mm -hmm. and um, the historical value. I was able to research the history of East Lake, hmm. and I found a um, Confederate cemetery that's a few blocks from here. Hmm. Didn't know the name of it, and was able to find the name of it okay. uh, through the library. So, um, go down to your library, check out the um, Social Sciences Division. Mm -hmm. They can help you with val invaluable resources such as food banks. Um, programs that help you pay your utility bills. Mm -hmm. um, oh, also with the um, Homeless Prevention Program mm -hmm. through JCCEO, the HEARTH program, mm -hmm. that helped me get out of the shelter. Anything else to add? Um, you know, the, the Bible says, God says that, you know, we are, the whole church makes a body. But all of the people in the Birmingham Downtown Library, they put a body together. Yes, yes. They will help you put yourself on track yes. if you need resources. No matter what it is, even if it's trying to find help for to pay medical bills mm -hmm. or get medical treatment, mm -hmm. use the resources that are there for you. Because if it goes away, I don't, you know, I think we've lost a very um, valuable treasure. Awesome. Awesome.